What is going on, people of YouTube? Uh, this is a trucker's journey. I am the trucker um, in question. I'm sitting over here in uh, the FedEx yard waiting to get my paperwork and my trailer to get out of here. Um, it's about six hours and 22 minutes from here to uh, Memphis. So, yeah. It is, uh, it is what it is. There was, you know, four other trucks here uh, from my company, and uh, I got here second in line, and I am now the last getting their paperwork. So, what can you do? You can't do anything. I lost, look, I was 389 about four weeks ago. Weighed myself tonight. I am 339. So I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Got this monstrous beard going on. Haven't brushed it tonight yet. But that is going to happen. Probably whenever I stop on, uh, stop to go to the bathroom or something like that, I'll probably give it a good brush. Uh, yeah. Oh, and guys, listen, if you are a truck driver, this right here, this right here is awesome to have. It's got, you, you know, you can, uh, put all your, uh, load information, your tractor number, your trailer number, your pickup number, the load number, um, all your loaded miles, your empty miles, you got a little place right here for notes just like this uh, you have to drop your trailer on a separate lot before you actually get to the main FedEx terminal um, over here and I didn't know that until um, I got over here uh, so yeah having one of these JJ Keller books um, it's called a uh, driver's load notebook and I think they're only like two bucks something like that um, you can get them most mostly at any uh, pilot or Lowe's I've seen them at pilot and Lowe's I've even seen them uh, at some uh, mom and pop truck stops um, yeah they're really good and also if you ever go to the you know to the same places over and over again like we do um, you can always go back and find the addresses and stuff here the only thing that would be different is your load number and possibly your trailer number um, and your pickup but everything else the addresses and you know the little notes that you have uh, of the thing and it's also got a, a couple spots on here if you have multiple stops it's got you know stop offs uh, you can that's either uh, if you stop at you know multiple stops or even if you stop at a truck stop and you want to you know put that down you can um, there's two two stop off uh, spots right here and uh, not only does it have uh, not only does it have the uh, place for notes on your load but it also see like right here that's that's for the notes for the load but on the next page after that it also has uh, like lumper uh all your my advance i got a hundred dollar advance this week so i put it down um and then it's got another note notes right here but on the back right here it's got a whole page that you can write down whatever you want um and honestly i i'm taking i'm going to take advantage of that for this channel you know if something comes up during the trip or whatever and i don't have time to record then I'll write it down and uh, kind of refresh uh, what happened and stuff before I get on here. Um, it's just good preparedness, uh, especially doing stuff like this. It's just good to be prepared with it. Um, so yeah, uh, met a couple of couple of my drivers, um, my fellow drivers at this company, while I was sitting here waiting. And uh, yeah, the one driver had been working here for, I think he said 14 years. And uh, 
so they definitely have the longevity uh, to keep drivers on the road and keep them happy, uh, happy enough to stay 14 years. Um, uh, yeah, I went in to get me some more pods for my vape, and all they had was the actual nicotine or the tobacco flavor. Um, they had golden tobacco, and then they had rich tobacco. I got the golden tobacco. This, what I have now in here, is rich. Um, and it's kind of messing with my throat a little bit. Um, so, uh, I've got the lighter tobacco flavor there. Um, I hope they get me a trailer soon and get my paperwork soon. It's already, uh, after 1230, and, uh, I have to be over at the FedEx terminal in Memphis at 8, um, which I should have plenty of time. Like I said, it's only 6 hours and 22 minutes away. Um, I could probably make it in a flat six hours. Uh, this GPS is set up to run at 55 mile an hour. So I usually run about 65, 68 miles an hour um, when I can. Uh, yeah, and on the Qualcomm, I have the GPS turned on on the Qualcomm too. Um, just for the simple fact of I want to make sure both of my GPSs are synced up. And uh, I can't look at anything else while I'm driving anyways except for my GPS. So I keep that turned on. Unless the light starts bothering me and then I can turn it off. <coughs> uh, I can turn it off completely. Um, and have that black, that screen blacked out. But the buttons down here for the brightness, the home button, and the volume buttons uh, stay lit up blue and green. Um, which isn't too big of a deal. Um, my honestly my GPS my actual main GPS is uh, a lot brighter than anything in this truck <laughs> and usually I turn it turn the brightness down actually I'm gonna go ahead and do that because uh, I just I don't know I like it being turned down at night because it's not as much of a distraction to me so because once I turn this light off it's pretty dark in this truck and any kind of light kind of just it distracts you when you're driving so I like to keep everything dim down um, still visible enough to see where you're going with the GPS but not so bright that you know all your attention is drawn to it um, yeah, and that's that's really a, like I'm just frustrated right now because I, I like I said I was second in line here and I'm last to leave and uh, they're not really giving me any time at all. Like if I have to go to the bathroom or whatever, they're not really giving me any time uh, in between. And you know, six hours and 22 minutes is a long time to drive without going to the restroom and. Uh, so I'll make it work but like I said I gotta be there at 8 o'clock if they don't hurry up and get me out of here before 1 that's 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 7 that's 6.30 is when I'll get to Memphis so that, I mean yeah I'll still be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Even if I leave at 2, I'll still get there at 8.30 this here, uh, Louisville time. But in Memphis time, it'll only be 7.30. So I'll have, uh, I'll be, I'll be good. I just really wish they would hurry up. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm ready to roll. Uh, yeah. Uh, wiped all the dash down. Wiped my Qualcomm down, my fridge, all the dash and everything over here. Got that done. And, uh. I'm ready to hit the road. Like, I'm ready to go. Uh, guys, I'm going to get out of here. She's walking up to the truck with the paperwork. I will see you on the other side.